Hello and welcome to Grizzly and Bear Overland. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. We are going to Bazaar. We're on the south side of Isikul Lake. Look how incredible the internet is, or Google. So I just hold my phone above the menu, and there it is, all translated. Okay, She's trying the regional dish called Ashlan Foo, which was, um, yeah, well, which is of this area. I've gone for the good old pilov which is the oily rice with big chunks of fatty meat in it and a bit of vegetable and lots of laza which is this chili dish, well chili, that comes with every meal. I'd love an ice cream. So you get these ones out of the freezer here, we found them in Kyrgyzstan and um, they're just ready to go. They're not in a packet, nothing, so no plastic It's <laughs> just ice cream in a little cone. Pretty bloody good. That's a really cool looking uh, car. I've got no idea what it is, but it's uh, it's pretty awesome. When I think about yesterday. My oh my My oh my The kiss and so I did Are you looking for troubles? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Well done. Just because I didn't think we had enough adventure for this trip. What do you reckon? Yeah, I think you were just waiting for it to happen. What's that? You were just waiting to get bogged. Just wanted a nice, relaxing afternoon. Just need to get out of this damp sand here. Steffi hard at work on Lake Isikul. Yeah, she's cleaning up my mess. I sort of half intentionally, half not got us bogged. Um, <laughs> I sort of, oh, I did know it was going to happen, but we've had these sand ladders for a long time. We hadn't tested them properly yet. We had a winch as backup, heaps of trees. 
Um, the sand was very, very soft. Now we have seen people all the way along the coast of this beach, uh, this lake, while camping everywhere. The locals do it everything. So um, camping here was not a problem. We have made a mess of the beach. So we're gonna take, we're, we're up top now. <laughs> we're in a secure spot. We're gonna take half an hour now. Steffi's already at work. We've got a second shovel and we're gonna clean up what we've done. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. We'll take a little bit of time just to fill in the deepest ruts we've made and, and pretty it up a little bit. You got a beautiful view behind ya. <laughs> She's got the waffle board or the sand bridges and a piece of string she found and she's towing it along the beach. She's grading, grading the beach stand to get it back nice and level, cleaning up our mess. Good girl, Steffi, keep it up. You're doing well, I've filled in most of the ruts. Now we got the French machine grading the rest nice and flat. By the time we're finished here, you won't even know we've driven down here. Well done, sweetie. It's looking pretty good, Frenchie. I reckon you've earned a beer. So we recently, on one of our decluttering missions, got rid of both of our chairs and our table. Today, we got bogged on the beach. So we've made the most of the sand ladders, which were already out, and set up table, chair, and a backrest. a table and Steph is turning it on for dinner tonight. We've got pasta on the go, red wine, just up there, the Altai Mountains in the background, Kazakhstan is on the other side, behind us is a gorgeous view and in a couple of hours we're going to have the sunset over Lake Isikul. Doesn't get much better than this. This was a, ah, oh, I was gonna film the checkmate. <laughs> Unbelievable, <laughs> sore loser. Because, just because she always beats me in cards, I beat her in chess and she can't handle it. But anyway, thank you very much, Jerome. This was Jerome's um, gift to us, little magnetic chess board. Reading some Wikipedia facts on this lake that we're camped on. It's a cool. It's the seventh deepest lake in the world, the tenth largest lake in the world by volume. That's massive. It never freezes though, obviously, because it's salt. Its max depth is 668 meters. we returned to Bishkek. We stayed in our car in a hostel so we could catch up on some editing.
Switzerland. They've been riding their Triumph Scrambles around the world for two years. They've shipped their motorbikes by plane from Thailand to Kyrgyzstan. And after four long weeks waiting in Bishkek, they were finally ready to go and continue their journey through the Pioneer Highway in Tajikistan. Another Swiss guy, Oli, was gonna join them for a little bit. Parce que j'arrive pas à démarrer la moto. wonder what I'm doing in there. Don't miss out next week's episode. We are going to Kazakhstan. And we are in Almaty, Kazakhstan. A big thank you to all our patrons for supporting our work making Grizzly and Bear weekly videos. If you want to be a part of the adventure, visit patreon.com. Thank you so much, guys. See you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.